Hi, I'm PJ from TreeLineUSA.com. Today I'm excited to demonstrate for you one of the trade secrets in protecting your hands while hand carving, and that's with the thumb and finger guards offered right here at TreeLine. Uh, let me demonstrate for you just how cool these are and just how easy they are to use to save you a lot of band-aids. So the leather thumb guards and the leather finger guards that we carry are a great way to kind of save yourselves from all the nicks and scratches and cuts you might get while hand carving. So we have both the thumb guards and the finger guards that, that go on with the, the leather facing your palm. Just simply slip it on like this. And so as you're doing your, your back cuts, it protects your thumb from, from getting cut. And then the, the finger guard, sl slip that over the same way. And this kind of helps with two different things. First, you know, if, if in case you, you glance off or as, you, as you're putting pressure against the blade as you're carving, or sometimes as you're carving too, your knuckles kind of scratch up against the, the project. So it kind of helps protect your fingers. And so sometimes people actually rotate the, thumb gu or the finger guard just slightly so that it's not going to scratch against your project. So a lot of times people too will, will take a little bit of safety tape and, and wrap it around the thumb or finger guard to give you a few extra layers of protection. And if you are going to do that, and the way that I prefer to wear these is actually turn the thumb and finger guards inside out. And you can definitely wear them either way, but this way it allows you when you put your thumb in there, it gives you just a little bit more flexibility and, and, it, and as you wrap it with, a, with some kind of safety tape, it wraps these seams around your thumb just a little bit easier so that it's not going against your thumb or, or finger. But you can definitely wear them either way. The manufacturer recommends that you wear them um, this direction and that's, how they, and that's how they'll come. But whatever way is more comfortable for you. So as, as you're carving that it's, it's again giving yourself a little extra protection. So, and, and so I'll show you with this safety tape here. If you do want to add a few extra layers, this is the flexible finger tape that we carry and just take maybe about a, an, an eight or nine inch strip piece and wrap it around your thumb or finger. You don't want to pull too tightly with that because it does shrink back and be too tight. But that way with the thumb or finger guard allows you to take this on and off without wasting the tape every time you do it. So ju anyway, just a really quick way to save you from all those little, little cuts that might happen when, as you're carving. And so your thumb and your finger are very protected. Now on your non-carving hand, usually you wear a glove on this one where the, uh, the thumb and finger guards fit onto the, the actual knife or gouge hand right there. So that's how you use the thumb and finger guards. Very simple but very f effective way of protecting your hand while carving. Hey, thank you for taking time to watch this video. I hope it's been helpful to demonstrate to you how to protect your hands, especially your thumb and your finger, while you're hand carving. So the, the thumb and finger guards are available in three different sizes. You've got the, the large, medium, and small in both the thumb and the finger. And these sizes hold true to, to most glove sizes. So if you typically wear a small, medium, or large, large glove, pick up the small, medium, or large finger guard, and usually the, the sizes should work. So to pick up your own thumb or finger guards, visit us at treelineusa.com. And for more videos, click to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.